Imagine we have three different reference frames, a normal rocket, a ground laboratory, and a high-speed rocket. Let's first consider an experiment happening within the normal rocket from the perspective of the observer within the rocket. A beam of light flashes from the floor up to a mirror on the ceiling where it is then reflected back down to the floor at a receiver. The beam of light takes a straight path up a distance of three meters and a straight path back down for another three meters. The total distance traveled is six meters, where light travels at one meter per meter of time. Notice that the beam of light started and ended at the same spot on the floor. So it has a net separation in space of zero meters. Then the space-time interval squared is equal to six squared. The space-time interval is computed as six meters. The observer in the ground laboratory sees the beam of light differently from their reference frame. Since the rocket is moving when the beam is emitted, the ground observer sees the light moving not straight up, but in a zigzag, moving at an angle up and over. It moves four meters horizontally in space and three meters up to the ceiling. It then moves back down three meters and another four meters further horizontally. The total length of the zigzag path is 10 meters. Since light travels at one meter per meter of time, it takes a total of 10 meters of time to traverse the total path length. The space-time interval squared is equal to 10 squared minus 8 squared, which is equal to a total of 36. So the space-time interval is then computed to be 6 meters, which matches the space-time interval computed by the rocket observer. Finally, the third reference frame comes from within a high-speed rocket, traveling much faster than the original rocket. The observer in the high-speed rocket measures the flash of light traveling in the opposite direction. Again, it travels three meters up and back down. However, now the space separation is 20 meters. The total length of time needed for light to traverse this path is 20.88 meters of time. So, the space-time interval squared is equal to 20.88 squared minus 20 squared, and the space-time interval once again is 6 meters. Yet again, the space-time interval calculated by the high-speed rocket observer matches the other observer calculations of 6 meters.